Today, I'm talking about Prolon and why I haven't eaten properly in five days. <laughs> Hello, TLCers. I'm talking today about a new way of mimicking fasting in a diet. It's not a diet in the way that we traditionally think of the word diet. It's not really for weight loss, but it does have other health benefits to it. Uh, you do get some weight loss though with it too, which is quite good. So Prolon is basically a way of eating, but not really eating very much. So it's a pre-prepared series of boxes which contain um, different amounts of calories. So on day one, you'll be having 1,100 calories. And then day two, three, four, and five, you're consuming about 750 calories. Why is fasting so good for us? Well, fasting triggers a process inside your cells called autophagy. So that's where your cell doesn't have enough energy. So it starts breaking down um, bits of the rubbish inside it that it doesn't need. Obviously, if you're fasting long term, that's called starving and that's not good for you. But doing it in a short space of time, for example, um, during Ramadan or doing a short water fast or doing um, a five day fast like this using some uh, supplements are absolutely fine. And it does have proven health benefits such as reducing your cholesterol. Um, it's also being shown to help with type 2 diabetes um, and a whole host of other um, positive benefits. And you do get some weight loss with it as well, obviously, because you're not eating very much. So I'm now on day five of using Prolon. Am I hungry? Well, it's a bit weird. I wouldn't say that I was hungry. I just, I just kind of want something. I want something. I just want to pick up my phone and get a pizza or I don't know, order some Indian food or something like that. I just want something. I'm not hungry because there's enough in one of these tiny little boxes to feed you for a day. Oh, and by the way, this is suitable for both men and women. Mm -hmm. um, could I exercise using Prolon? you may ask. Well, yes, you can certainly exercise in a fasted state. Would you feel happy doing so? Yeah, um, I would probably say you can do some gentle exercise. I wouldn't be running a marathon, but maybe going to some yoga or Pilates, or if you do do regular cardio work, you can probably do that quite easily as well. I am going to now take you through one of the boxes. So it comes in pre-packaged in a, a large um, box, which I don't have on the table because it's too big. Um, and each day is split up into tiny little boxes like this. And you also get a small, um, what do you call that? I was gonna call it a bag of supplements. It's not a bag of supplements. You know what I mean, supplements. And one of these um, mixers too. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking protein powder. Well, you're wrong. So let's have a look. This is day two, and you get two soups in there. Now, this really upset me because I cannot stand mushrooms. I cannot stand them. I have never, ever been able to eat mushrooms. Nevertheless, I did have a go at eating that. I found it very, very difficult. Um, ever since I was a kid, I've always had a big thing against mushrooms. They are very good for you. Um, they contain protein, um, very low fat, but I still can't bring myself to do it. It's just, I just find them a bit creepy. Anyway, and also this minestrone and quinoa blend. Um, it's a touch annoying because you have to use a stove to cook this. You can't just put it in a cup, you know, like a cup of soup, um, because otherwise the quinoa gets all a bit weird. It doesn't cook properly. Um, so that is a bit annoying, but actually this one was quite tasty. You also get what they call an L bar. So this is made from macadamia, nut butter and almond. Is it tasty? Gotta be honest, it's not hugely tasty, but trust me, by the fifth day you will eat anything. So it's not a problem. 
I think you get used to the taste. It's quite, um, tastes kind of a bit sandy. Uh, this is my favorite, the olives. Love olives. So thanks very much for giving us two packets of olives per day. Very happy with that. Cheers. And then you also get a selection of teas. So we've got two hibiscus teas, um, a spearmint tea and a spearmint lemon tea. The, the teas I thought were actually really nice. I'm totally on board with that. Oh, and for dessert, an L bar, which is a bit chocolatey. So yes, definitely approve of this one. And then you get this weird drink thing. Um, this one's orange flavored. So you, you have to pour it out into here and there's a little, um, scale on the side so you you use an amount that's appropriate for your weight it's got plant glycerols in it um, and then you dilute it up with water and then the idea is that you then drink um, the whole thing during the course of the day I guess so to make sure that you're drinking enough water and of course when you're drinking water it stops you from being as hungry as you otherwise might be um, they did have on one of the other days this is day one, some rather nice crackers, which are kale crackers. Again, um, not the nicest kale crackers that I've ever had, but you know, not too bad. You can certainly get them down you. Um, and some algal oil uh, supplement as well. You have that on the first day. I think you might have it on the fifth day as well, but don't quote me on that. Um, and because on the first day you're consuming more calories, so you have 1,100 calories on the first day, you're treated with two L bars um, instead of just the one. So, and then on the sixth day, when you have finished all your prolon, you then do a transition diet uh, back to your well, normal um, dietary habits, assuming that your normal dietary habits are healthy, that is. I know what you're thinking. Is this healthy? Are these ingredients good for me? Well, it's not certified organic. I can tell you that much. Um, a lot of it is vegan, gluten-free. So that's all good. Um, I can also tell you that the company is also trialing another product uh, for use with chemotherapy patients because some studies have shown that if you're fasting when you have chemotherapy, uh, it improves the efficacy of it. So it works better, basically. So they have to be good things, I think. I don't think that you would need to use Prolon forever. So I think if you're somebody who gets into the habit of fasting, and you can do this as often as every month or every two weeks if you're doing it for a specific reason. Obviously you can't live like that forever. That's not advice to just use Prolon twice a month. Don't do that. Um, but if you're doing it for a specific reason, you could do it as often as that. Um, my understanding is that most people would use it either every month or as fewer times as four times a year. So if you get into that habit, I'm sure that you could on your own just come up with a plan um, where you have calculated your macros and your calorie intake so that you are getting the equivalent of you know 110 calories and then plus uh, 750 for the next four days. Um, this is just a very, very easy and convenient way to do it so that you don't have to think about it yourself. And the food's not bad. I know I wrinkle my nose up a little bit at some of the items, but um, it's because I can't stop thinking about eating pizza. <laughs> and now I'm on the fifth day. God knows what I'm going to eat tomorrow. I'm just going to be looking through those apps on my phone thinking, oh my God, I could eat this, I could eat this, but then I don't want to undo all the good work that I've done over the past five days. Price-wise, because I know you're thinking that as well, that's great, Sarah, but how much does all this health cost me? Well, um, I believe it's about £225 for a 
weeks worth, five days worth of Prolon. Um, I think you get a bit of a discount when you buy them in bulk. So when you purchase more than one system at a time and you have to do it under the supervision of some kind of healthcare professional, a doctor, a nutritionist, dietitian, and so on. You can't just buy it. One last thing is you get some supplements with it. Uh, it contains a bunch of amino acids, uh, vitamin C, zinc, lots of B vitamins. Uh, you've got some trace elements in there as well, selenium, copper, some magnesium. I guess that's just to support the fact that you're not eating a, a, a varied diet for five days. So they call it NR3. I have no idea why. It sounds quite catchy though quite futuristic -y. like that, a bit like Tron, isn't it? Love it. So if you're the type of person who is interested in your health and lifespan extension, because fasting has been shown in animal models to um, extend lifespan by up to a third, which is obviously good. Not good if you're hungry all the time though. Um, then maybe Prolon is a product for you. I'd be really interested to know what you guys think about Prolon and if you have tried it before or if you have tried either fasting with water or juicing before, please just leave me a comment in the comment section. Okay, that's all we've got time for this week. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye.